hey guys welcome back to another new video so in this video i'm going to review another rom for redmi note 8 and this time we have evolution x rom and this is based on android 13 there is no build of android 14 yet although there is like the developer preview rom is already out now maybe in in next month we will have like some android 14 based rom so let's go and check evolution x rom so i have tried the uh, last version of this rom and it was really good build and this time also actually it's really similar and and even it's improved a lot so as you can see evolution x android 13 7.6 maybe that one was 7.5 and security patch level is february 5 2023 because i have been um, using this rom maybe uh, a week now so more than that maybe so this rom actually remind me um cyanogen mode rom which i have i used to use like in 2014 or 15 so that time the cyanogen mode was very famous it is the, the older version of lineage os so it has a lot of customization so um, as you can see here the notification panel is totally different than usual because you have a lot of thing you can do like there is an option called the evolver so if you go there there is all sorts of option which we used to do in Cyanogen mode. So in Cyanogen mode, we used to get a lot of features, but for more features, we used to use uh, like we had to get like root permission. Then you have to use like exposed, and then we can tweak this kind of thing. And this actually, whenever I use this ROM, and it remind me those kind of thing. But that time we had we had to do a lot of thing to do like changing the UI and other things. But this time but you don't need to do anything actually all of them laid out pretty well you can go and check whatever you want so i have changed like battery icon and others icon and other than that i haven't changed much so this rom actually does come with support of bank apps so you can use um, bank apps here if you don't install magix but if you install magix you will lose the um, the permission for the bank apps using and other things so that means safety net will be break so the the ROM is really smooth here. I found two bugs, but those bugs actually not really any useful bug, which then those bug will not like hamper your user experience. So I will tell you those bugs too. So this ROM actually one of the uh, good thing of this ROM is that this ROM come with uh, MIUI camera. So it's good that MIUI camera is built in because in custom ROM, if you want to put MIUI camera, it's really uh, sometimes does work sometimes does not work sometimes the the MIUI camera crash so it coming with MIUI camera is really great and also it come with a basic gfs not a lot of things come with this rom and it's really great and like the camera like other cameras also works just fine so as you can see MIUI camera is working and if i open gcam so this one is not working let me let's try another one maybe this one working yeah, and as you can see, the auxiliary camera support are there. Even in G, uh, MIUI camera, also you can uh, use your auxiliary cameras. As you can see, if I so even the two X and everything is working fine, there is no issue. And the lead patch is from uh, Android Pi, so the uh, camera quality is really good. The picture quality is really good, so you will not have any issue with camera and anything. So the UI has no issue at all the apps are running very well and you will get really good battery backup and other things and i'm i'm not really um, going to show everything because it's almost similar to all the rom and this rom also come with like xiaomi parts option where you can uh, tweak your display calibration setting and it's working really fine yeah I, I did not have any kind of screen retention problem in this rom and have been using nine maybe more than a week now i haven't faced any kind of issue so the main uh, the first bug which i have noticed is that whenever i take a screenshot so as you can see i have taken a screenshot and we have like icon to edit the screenshot so it doesn't work in this build so you cannot edit because i i use this this feature a lot in my in my daily drive so but this feature is not working but i haven't faced this problem in any other roms actually but only this rom have this issue and another issue is that so as you can see here it's showing that uh, how much ram is available so out of 4 gigs 2.8 gig available which is cannot possible so if we go here the real one if we check the real one 
so as you can see 1.4 gig is survival and one thing about this rom is that if you close everything like and now many apps is running now so if i close everything and if we check the ram so as you can see it's free up 1.5 gigabyte of ram mostly you will get 1.3 gigabyte in most of the rom even i got like one point uh maybe one point eight meg uh, eight gigabyte also when i installed this rom first without installing any apps it was it is really good actually i haven't seen this kind of um ram optimization in this device and it's really getting really great and working really fine so other things about the security like fingerprint and other things does work really fine so no issue with that there is no sluggishness no not really anything there so it's work every and each and every time there will be no issue and one of the best feature of this rom is that it comes with dolby atmos from motorola and i have I have demonstrated this on another ROM and this is really good so you will get very loud sound and very clear crystal sound with this ROM if you turn on the Dolby Atmos option and it does work with earphone also so really great actually they put this uh, Dolby Atmos option I think all the ROM put this option because it's it's really great you know the Redmi Note 8 actually the speaker quality of Redmi Note 8 is really great according to its price i have used many devices according to the similar price but the speaker quality on redmi note 8 it's really great and when you use dolby atmos it will be much better so this is one of the best feature i have ever found on this rom i have found this uh, this feature on another rom too and i have demonstrated how it works and also be remindful about the that that the sound is very loud so if you keep it even in down also it, it will be really big like when I put alarm, I have to turn it down to very low. If I keep it in 40% or 30%, it will be very loud. So I have demonstrated that too in the in my previous ROM review. So so that's it. Everything about um, our X Evolution X ROM, really great ROM. I will put the link in the description below. You can download it from there and flash it. So that's it about Evolution X. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.